Hey guys, welcome to our pregnancy update for week 37. I'm like losing track of it because um, it is going so insanely quickly. Um, <laughs> so, uh, ooh, so belly shot. Oh yeah. In all her glory. Um, so week 37, we are up 27 pounds. Um, I am swelling when I'm at work because it's not air conditioned. My um, like legs, like my calves and my ankles and my feet even feel tight. Um, so it's like a substantial swelling. Um, but when I have a couple days off or a couple days where I can just put my feet up and relax, the swelling goes down. So I do feel huge. <laughs> I had a checkup three days ago for my 37 week and uh, I'm three centimeters dilated, 70% effaced. She is head down and moving down and at a negative two. So apparently when they start to measure how the baby moves down, like into the birth canal area, you go negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, and zero was she's like, would be like at my pelvis. And then one, two, and then three is like crowning. Um, so anyway, so she's at a negative two, so she is um, down in the right region, but not really moving down that far. So I was so excited about the three centimeters dilated, because that's the thing that I had like heard and seen in movies, and I was like, oh my gosh, like this is so exciting. And she's like, yeah, you could go tonight, or in a couple days, or in a couple weeks. And I was like, what? So apparently, contrary to what I thought, uh, <laughs> the beginning of dilation doesn't mean like you're going to go soon. So that was Wednesday and it is Saturday, so we are ending week 37 and I have not yet gone. Um, so I do feel large. <laughs> um, I can breathe fully, which is really nice. I can eat. Oh my God, I've been, I have, I've been ravenous lately. I, I guess because like I haven't been able to eat um, because my stomach has been so like cramped. And now that I finally can, I'm like, yes, food. And I'm just like inhaling food. That's how I feel. So I was told to keep an eye out for contractions and do the normal timing if, if I am having contractions um, and to watch for my water breaking because apparently I think whatever's up with my venta separating, I think they're saying or hinting at that it might be more likely that my water breaks because typically water doesn't always break for women. I think it's like 15 or 16% of women, their water breaks. Um, so I might be one of them. I think because of that little placenta disconnecting thing. Um, I do have lower abdomen and uh, some lady part stuff down there that's a little bit uncomfortable and, and crowded, um, I guess because she is moving down. Um, I did, from the dilation exam, it was less invasive because she had moved down so much, but I have had spotting for quite a few days because of that. So as long as, they said as long as it's not like red blood or um, painful or the water breaking, then to just keep hanging and waiting because it's bound to happen, but uh, hasn't happened yet. Uh, <laughs> so I have been a bit emotional. I've been, I've been like really indecisive. Uh, like I don't, like part of me is like, oh yeah, let's go out and do something or oh yeah, let's do this. And then another part of me is like, no. And like I'll even go into a room to do something and then like change my mind and go back. And I've cried multiple times at either movies or television shows. And it's been an emotional moment, but I don't know that I would normally actually cry. And I am crying. Uh, so, so that's great. Um, people, uh, I don't think I look like I've dropped. I don't know, you guys saw. Like, I don't know that I look like I've dropped. Um, I mean, she's definitely moving down. Like, she's not as high as she was, but people are, like, I, whenever I run into someone, um, like, they'll just make a comment or ask me, like, when I'm due, and, um, at least now I'm not insulted because I could go at any moment. This is cool. So, 37 weeks on is considered full term. So that's kind of nice. You know that whatever needed to develop and such is in good shape. So 37 weeks on, you're officially good to go. They're not considered premature, which is pretty awesome. Um, so I think that's it. We just were ready to meet her. Um, so thank you guys so much.